What's up my friends, it's Edward, your Honda man. And today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Today I brought my friend Robert. He is a sales consultant right across the street at Toyota. And it's really exciting. He's starting his own Toyota channel. So hopefully if you're subscribed to me and you want to see some Toyota videos as well, if you want to kind of compare the two brands, then definitely subscribe to his channel. I'm putting a link up here. And I'm gonna leave it up so you can subscribe, especially if you like what he's doing. He's a pretty funny guy. I enjoy watching his videos so far and he's gonna to continue to do that. So as the new Toyota models do come out, got like the, the newest uh, Scions as well, he's gonna do all of those reviews uh, and the new Camry, Corolla, all that bread and butter stuff. He's gonna do great reviews and edits. So today he's gonna to show us the all new 2016 uh, Toyota Tacoma. So stay tuned, check it out. Getting ready to do this. I'll pass the camera over to Robert. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well like uh, Edward had told you guys, I'm doing my own YouTube channel. I do work across the street from him. Um, the owners thought it'd be a great idea to put the two best brands uh, out in the market right now, right across from each other, uh, which is pretty cool. You know, they don't have, people don't have to go too far when they're looking for a Honda. They don't have to go too far when they're looking for a Toyota. And me and Edward always work together when it comes to working with customers. So I just wanted to introduce you to the all new, redesigned 2016 Toyota Tacoma. Um, as you guys all know, the Toyota Tacoma had the same look for the last 10 years. I mean, that is so long, but the thing with that is that Toyota felt that they just, that truck is just awesome. I mean, in reality, it just dominated the market. It still does, but it dominated the market. It has, pretty much has no competition. I mean, you look at stuff like, you know, the GMC um, Colorado, you see the, the, the Chevy Colorado, the GMC Canyon, and They've been in and out. They've never stayed steady. So they have a new truck now that they're claiming that's better than our truck, except our trucks outsell, outsold every other truck for the last 10 years easily. It's like a, it's like a walk in the park and we're actually at a park right now. So it's, it's, it's kind of, kind of, kind of goes together. But anyways, um, so yeah, so definitely a nice truck. Another thing that, that, you know, you should consider when you're buying a Toyota Tacoma is resale value. So Toyota Tacoma, not only has the best resale value in our brand, it actually has the best resale value in any vehicle, any brand. So not even just in trucks, just in general, the resale value in a Toyota Tacoma is ridiculous. So if you're looking at buying a new one, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like an investment. I know it's kind of hard to say, you know, you're investing money in a car, but in reality, it kind of really is an investment when you're buying a Toyota Tacoma, um, just because I've seen so many scenarios where you know, people have made out pretty well on, on, their, on their Tacoma. So definitely a nice truck. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I just wanted to kind of go give you a real quick overview of the things that have changed. They pretty much have changed everything, but uh, it's definitely a good look. I like it. I wasn't too sure when I saw pictures, but now that we have it here in person, it's definitely, uh, a, definitely a nice, good look. They, they did a really good job with it. So here is the 2016 Toyota Tacoma. Um, this one actually is the TRD Sport. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. There's also an off-road that's very comparable, but more of an off-road look. This is a sport, so this is more of like a city-driven vehicle, more of a sporty feel. Everything's more tuned to a, a sport feel. So if you look at the front here, they have this big, bold, aggressive grill. So it, it is, it's chrome. It's kind of, if you look at it, it's just kind of coming at you. Um, a cool thing that, that, I, that I like that they did is they got rid of the front bumper. Um, it's just, I mean, there's obviously, there's obviously metal back there to keep you, you and your family safe. It's not just this plastic bumper that's just gonna fall off if you hit a, hit a curb or anything, but definitely nice, nice look. Uh, gives it more of a futuristic look when you start taking away some of the, some of the metal. Um, they, like, the great thing I like about the Sport is that everything is color keyed. So you have very little chrome. Um, everything's gonna be, be the same color um, as the vehicle, whatever color you choose. And, I, and I'll go through that as I walk through it and point some things out. So obviously it's a Sport, so you do have um, the hood scoop, which is a definitely nice, a nice look. A lot of people that get the sports, I feel this, you know, that's like one of their main things that they like about the vehicle is the hood. Um, it does have more of an aggressive hood. It kind of has a few different levels to it. That kind of gives it that more of aggressive look, a higher look there. Um, really, really good idea. There's even a, a decal that our, our parts departments, and I'm sure your guys, you know, parts departments, wherever you guys label, have it too. And it goes around the hood and kind of emphasizes it and makes it look a little bit better. So that's something that we should definitely do here at our lot, but um, you guys gotta check it out. You know, I'm sure you can find it online. If not, go to your nearest Toyota store or come here to Toyota of Santa Maria 
and I can, I can show you guys that, that, that accessory there. So I just want to show you here, headlights, um, headlights, you know, aggressive, wrap around headlights. It is a projector beam headlight. So what that means to you guys is pretty much you get a wider range of light. Um, that's why it's kind of rounded at the end. So for safety, if you're down in the back roads and you know, it's kind of hard to see, the great thing with these headlights, it'll give you the visibility, the visibility that you need. Another thing that I like that a, a lot of car manufacturers are doing now is the LED daytime rain lights. Like that to me, I just look sexy. Like I love the way that looks. So this one, cool, awesome thing is that they incorporated in the Tacoma is an LED daytime, daytime running light that runs across this way. So as soon as you turn on your vehicle, the light will turn on and it, it looks nice. It, it definitely gives it more of a, of a newer look. Um, another thing which, which, that you get with uh, the TRD Sport or the TRD Off-Road is you get also your fog lights. So integrated fog lights, cool thing is that when you have automatic headlights, they turn on with your headlights also, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, definitely, definitely a nice feature, safety feature. Um, and a lot, a lot of people tend to like that kind of stuff. They actually added on a new V6 engine. Last year they had the, or the, all the other previous years, they had the 4.0 uh, liter V6 engine. Now they've gone down in liters, still V6. It's a 3.5 liter uh, V6 engine. Um, it does have an Atkinson cycle. I could go into how that works, but you still won't get it because I don't even get it. It's super confusing. I went to uh, training in uh, down south. Well, we live up in Central, Cal Central, uh, Central Coast here in California. So I went down to LA and uh, went to go look at the truck and learn about it. And they explained to us how the Atkinson cycle works. It's pretty confusing, but I'm sure there's other videos that will show you how it works if you really want to know. But pretty much all that means is it gets you better fuel economy. So it gives you great power. It's got more power than the previous year and better fuel economy because of the Atkinson cycle uh, engine. It gets you 24 miles per gallon on the highway, which is great for, for this truck and compared to, to the previous years. So bringing you guys along the side here, just wanted to give you guys a look at the wheels. So these are the sport wheels here. Um, get a, a little bit bigger, about an inch bigger wheel with the sport, so you have a little less rubber, which gives you more of that sport feel. The less rubber you have, the more you can grip the road, you have less, less roll. Um, so you have the, the wheels here, alloy wheels, with the black accents, gives it a nice look. You also have uh, front wheel disc brakes, and they're ventilated. So um, you know, better stopping power if you're riding downhill or if you're doing some aggressive stopping. The rotors aren't gonna get um, too hot where they just go through the brake pads like butter. So they stay nice and cool, fully ventilated. Another thing you get with the Toyota Tacoma uh, Sport, you get Bilstein shocks. So you get an upgraded shocks um, compared to if you just get a regular SR5. Another thing that, that these are sport tuned. So you also get Bilstein, Bilstein shocks if you get yourself a, a TRD off-road, but those are tuned differently. So these are sport tuned, so these are gonna be better, more of a stiffer ride, and they're gonna be better when it comes to a cornering. But definitely a nice, comfortable vehicle. Uh, looking off here, so like I said, on the Sport, you get parts of the car that are color keyed. So here you have a color keyed mirror, which gives it that nice look. So whatever color vehicle you get, this will be the same color as that. You also get your turn signals here for safety reasons, awesome. And it just looks good too. So if you're ever, you know, switching lanes or, you know, someone can't see your, your front lights for some, for some reason, they have, they can, they're able to see this here and, and know that you're, you're, you're about to, to turn a corner or switch a lane. And another thing that's, that's, that, that's awesome about this vehicle and what they added is they added the smart key. So all you do is if you have the key in your pocket or on you, you just, and the car's locked, you just grab the door handle and, and it, it unlocks. If you wanna lock it, there's these rivets here. All you do is you slide your finger across or you touch them and it's actually doing that because the key's inside the vehicle. But you just rub your fingers across that and what it'll do is it'll lock the vehicle. So, um, Smart key, if you haven't had one, once you get it, you kind of get spoiled because you never have to have, you don't even worry about your keys. You just, I mean, I park in my garage, so I just leave my keys in my car, but I won't give my address so you don't go try to steal my car. But yeah, yeah, so I keep my keys in my car because I just, the car doesn't lock, my battery doesn't die. I just get in my car, put my foot on my brake and turn the car on and we're good to go. All right, guys, so coming around the back of the vehicle, um, obviously it's all been redesigned. Uh, I wanted to show you the bumper. This is a really cool feature. The great thing I like about the bumper, it's actually a three-piece bumper. So for some, well, I mean, you have a backup camera and you have backup sensors. So if you back into something, then you're really, really not paying attention. But if you do, 
for some reason, let's just say someone backs into you, just so, for argument's sake. Someone backs into you, hits you one, any piece of your bumper. The great thing is that you could buy all these pieces individually. You no longer have to buy a full rear bumper. And you know what Toyota would consider with that is that they're saving you money. So if, if anything would happen, you know, it's, only gonna, it's not gonna cost that much money just to buy this piece versus buying the whole thing. So, um, so that, that's a great, great feature to that. Obviously, bumper, color keyed, we're looking at the Sport. So backup sensors also, which is a great feature, standard on the Sport and the TRD um, off-road. Uh, backup camera standard on pretty much all our, all our vehicles, no matter what you're looking at, it's kind of like a standard feature nowadays. So that's there. Cool thing I like about um, the tow package that they did is they integrated um, the outlets into the bumper. So it looks a lot cleaner. You don't have to worry about maybe hitting a rock and just breaking it off. It's integrated in the bumper and you do have the two different outlets here just think depending on your trailer and what kind of, what kind of wiring it has on there. There's that. Um, also towing, uh, V6, um, it does have the, the 3.5 liter V6, which is a new engine for, for this vehicle. Um, could tow up to 5,800 5, pounds. So definitely a uh, great uh, towing capacity for, for the vehicle. And then also wanted to show you the tailgate here. Cool thing about this is it's not, technically it's not a light tailgate at all. But the great thing about this and the technology they use, they've made this tailgate really light. So anybody can drop it and lift it. Um, you don't have to come outside and help your mom drop the tailgate because it's super, super heavy. I mean, she could do it. I mean, I'll show you an example here. I'm just gonna open it and just let it fall. Look at that. So super light. I mean, even if your kid would so happen to walk by, I mean, it drops down so slow that you could just probably stop it and lift it back up. So we're, we're, we care about your kids. We're keeping the kids safe. There's that. Cool thing I like about Toyota also is the bed of the truck. Um, the, about this truck, you don't have to worry about going and get yourself a plastic bed liner that warps with the sun and ends up flying on the freeway and causing uh, you know, this major 50 car accident. You don't have to worry about paying $700 to Linex or Rhino Liner um, because that's how much they charge. It's pretty expensive and that's not a plug unless you're paying me Linex. Um, but yeah, and then in what time that thing fades. The great thing about this is very high quality uh, material that they put back here and you don't have to worry about your bed getting scratched up because if anything ruins the value of a truck, one thing is going looking at a truck and looking at the bed and it's just being all these crazy scratches on it. So definitely a nice feature there. Another cool thing here is if you have a motorcycle or anything that you're gonna keep in the back of your vehicle, um, the great thing is you have these tie downs here. And these tie downs, you're, all you do is twist here, you loosen them up, you push this plastic piece in and you're able to twist it off and pull it out. So you can station these wherever you like in order to tie your stuff down. You also have a few tie downs down here too, but these, these can't move, but these can. So you have a lot of, gives you a lot of different options. If you're in construction or if you're camping or if you're, just want to blow dry your hair outside. Great thing about this vehicle is that you do have an AC outlet back here. That's a great feature, especially if you're tailgating. I mean, there's, there's just so many different scenarios I can come up with where you could use that. This comes standard on the Sport, so you don't have to worry about it. If you want that and you're looking at a, just an SR5 Tacoma, not gonna get it. Gotta get the Sport or you gotta get the, the off-road. So definitely cool. You do on this side and outside, you do have uh, little compartments where you can put your stuff in too. Um, definitely a, a nice feature and uh, let me use my, my muscles to lift this up uh, so there's that so also the, uh, what comes with this vehicle um, with the Sport is a chrome tipped exhaust so it kind of gives you that little bit of a nicer look you don't have to go to O'Reilly's Auto Parts and buy a little cheap one we give you one straight from the factory uh, OEM and the cool thing is it has a little engraved Toyota emblem on top it gives it a nice touch alright to kind of give you guys a I want to show you guys the back seat. Um, definitely has nice space. You definitely fit a, a, if you have a family, you know, a four, this would be a nice truck to choose. It's got nice space in the back. Uh, to give you a frame of reference, I'm about 5'8", which is uh, really tall in this area. No, I'm just playing. It's not that tall at all. But, I mean, I'll, I'll show you kind of how tall I am, about 5'8", and I feel comfortable back here. So I have plenty of space. The front seat is pushed back a little bit, so, I mean, you guys, you could put someone taller in here and it's comfortable and it's hot in here. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'll give you guys a, a look on the inside here. Obviously, just like the outside of the truck, 
the inside's been redesigned. Um, and, you know, obviously I feel and a lot of people felt that it needed, it was uh, due time for it to be redesigned. Um, but I'm going to start off here with the stereo system here. So this is Intune Premium with JBL. So you do have an upgraded speaker system. Definitely sounds awesome. You do have a navigation system and you do have Intune um, App Suite. So you have, you know, your Pandora, you have Bing, Facebook, other different apps there that, that you could use um, with this. You just have to connect your phone to it, Bluetooth, and it'll get pull all that stuff up for you. Um, this vehicle does have uh, cloth seats, but if you press this button here, you can heat them up so you don't need leather. Um, definitely a nice feature. You have your outside uh, mirror defrost, keep those things defrosted. Another cool thing, which is, what do we, I, call, I like to call this the marriage saver. The marriage saver here is dual climate controls. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm a different temperature than my wife. My wife, she's always um, cold and I'm always hot. So the cool thing about, about dual climate controls is you can set the temperature to what you want it to be for you and she can have what she wants to be or vice versa. And so that's on this side. You could also press sync too, which leaves, a, leaves all the power to the driver. So if you're in the vehicle by yourself and you want to adjust the temperature, you can on this side and it'll do the same on this side. So you just press the sync button here. Um, here's where your fan works, your defrost, your air conditioning. And down here is another great feature, which is called blind spot monitors. So blind spot monitors, there's a little light on the side mirrors that'll light up every time someone's in a blind spot. That also works with um, cross traffic control. So if you're in a busy you know, parking lot, let's say Costco for instance, which is pretty busy for us over here, and you're backing out and someone's walking by or driving by, blind spot monitors works with tra cross traffic control and it will actually, both lights will flash and your vehicle will beep, letting you know that someone's passing by and so you, you will stop. So here is your parking sensors. Here's where you plug in uh, your aux and your USB, which is awesome features. This right here, another feature that they added with this vehicle is wireless charging. It's actually a QI, but the way you pronounce it is Qi. And no, I just didn't, I didn't just sneeze. That's actually what it's called, it's called Qi. But if you have um, some Android phones work right out of the box, so you could just set them down right here and, and it'll work. If you have an iPhone, you have to buy a sleeve that the phone fits in. And, that's, and once you put in that sleeve and you set it here, it'll actually charge your phone wirelessly. So three cup holders, two, cu two cup holders here, one here. You have a little compartment here. Seems like it's pretty good to kind of put your, uh, your key in there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Push button start, um, where, your, where your air comes out. Steering wheel's been, you know, it's leather wrap. Definitely it's got a good feel. Perforated leather on the sides, the regular leather on top. Right here will be your, you have an information center here in the middle. So you could do your uh, miles per gallon, how many miles you have until empty, your odometer, um, your temperature on the outside. A lot of the stuff is new for Toyota Tacoma. They, they didn't have that much technology in the vehicle. Um, and also your, your TPMS light, which is tire pressure monitoring system. Um, before they just had a light would turn on and you had to figure out which tire was low on air. On, on these ones, it'll actually tell you which, which tire specifically is. Um, so you would control all that with this side here. This side over here is gonna be your Bluetooth. On this side right here, cruise controls down here. They've had the same cruise control for years. Really easy to use. Definitely, definitely nice. Another thing that they, that Toyota added to the Tacoma, which has never been done before, is the moonroof. So if you're a moonroof person, and I have had a lot of customers have asked me if they can get a moonroof in a Tacoma, and previously I've told them no, but now they can. So definitely a nice, cool feature. It's a uh, one touch, which is nice. So another thing that they added on uh, the Toyota Tacoma, you, ha you have to get this, the, you know, the TRD Sport or the TRD Off-Road, you get a nice uh, GoPro mount there. So if you have a GoPro, um, you know, you can definitely just add it on here and you can record your drives or, you know, if you're going off-road or just any type of adventures or, you know, maybe you have it on and you get into an accident and you can... They don't have to take your word for it. You can be like, hey, it wasn't my fault. Check out my GoPro, GoPro camera. I even have it in 4K if you can't, if you can't tell. <laughs> so there's that. Um, definitely a cool feature. 
um, someone for like me, I, I just think that's, that's awesome. All right, guys. Uh, thank you, Robert, for that overview of the Toyota Tacoma. Hopefully, you enjoyed it and you learned a lot, especially if you are in the market for that vehicle. And again, he is starting his brand new channel. Super stoked to be able to show you all the new Toyota products that are coming out. So again, subscribe to his channel. All new, fresh content, edited well. Any last words for the your Honda Man audience? Um, yeah, I mean, it'll be awesome, obviously, if you guys are interested in, in Toyotas, if you do subscribe to my channel. Um, also, if you watch my videos, um, you know, leave some comments. You know, I'm, just, I'm new to it. Obviously, I'm getting uh, some great advice from my boy Ed here, but if you have any um, comments, any tips, anything you guys would like to see, just leave it in the comments and I will do my best to get you guys that. And I will, and, you know, I'm good at taking constructive criticism and I'll do my best to get you guys pretty much the product that you need, the, the reviews that you need and give you the quality that you guys deserve. Thank you. And last but not least, if you are in the market to buy a Honda or now a Toyota, you got two guys to work with. Uh, if you live between Los Angeles and San Francisco, we can help you from your shopping stages all the way till the car is in your driveway. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys later. See ya. And scene, it's fine. <laughs> Hotter than Satan's toenails out here. <laughs>